Hey, grown folks, Lady D, a.k.a. Donna Smith. I am here. We are getting ready to get grown. And yes, yeah, see, I got some coffee. I can't help it. I ain't going to say who it is. Y'all just look. And it's a caramel macchiato, extra hot, extra caramel, all that good stuff. But it keeps your girl perking. It keeps me perking. And, you know, I ain't scared to admit it. I do what I do. That keeps me perking. And so it helps me do what I do with you. <laughs> so anyway, let's talk about, man, let's talk about these situations. You know, man, lately I have been having... More and more approaches coming my way, um, and I appreciate it, you know, um, men who are interested, and I know it's a lot of women out there who get the same thing, men who are really interested in you and and, and, and give you the sweetest, the warmest um, compliments, and also um, want to spend some lovely, intimate time with you that is respectable and, you know, take you out to dinner and wine and dine you and stuff like that. However, you, you, you get these situations where people are already tied up and, you know, I mean, I'm not hating on anyone and I talked about this a little bit before, but it, I just don't understand it, you guys. I mean, it's like, it's all good, but you can't give me what I want because I'm not just looking for some physical, you know, bonding and blending. I'm looking for a lot more. So how can you give me what I'm looking for and you tied up giving somebody else what they need and what they're looking for? You know, um I know that men have a hard time ex accepting the fact that a woman even has male friends. You know, if she tells you, yeah, I got a male friend or two, you know, we just cool. We kick it. We go way back. That's my boy. That's my no girl. That's my whatever they want to call him. <coughs> Excuse me. But they have that situation where they want to let it be known that they got this friend. And, and a lot of men just ain't they not down for that. They are not down for the okie doke. They are not down for you. Having you a boo boo, toy, friend, uh, brother, whatever he is or was. So, how in the world is he going to accept the fact that she just want to reach out and play, but she got something at home? I, I Men ain't going to be putting up with that. Now, he may go ahead on and do it just to hit it, ladies. You know, I mean, you know, if it's there and he's feeling it and he wants it, he may want to mm, 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 hit that thing. But that's all it's going to be. He ain't going to want nothing else, no further, because he is not going to be able to get out the back of his head that you had somebody while you were allowing him to get the cookies. And if it comes down to a situation, if it does, because it, it, it most likely probably won't, but if it comes down to a situation where he gets you or you get him and you guys are together, he's going to always remember that. I'm giving you game right here, right now. He's going to always remember that you played on partner and you did it with him. He's not going to look at himself being exceptional or different or worthy of it or king mother mm -mm, tut. He ain't going to look at himself like that. He's going to look at the fact that you cheated on someone that you were with, that you said you love, that you were still connected with regardless of if you and boo was having problems and he cheated on you or whatever you were still there so ladies he's not gonna take that and accept that with you so why do women accept that with the men why do you settle for tagging along being the third wheel because sooner or later the third wheel has to drop off ladies and it ain't going to be the wheel that was already turning and churning and going through the gravel and the dirt and the sludge and the mudge and all that. And, 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 and here you come when there's sunshine being sprinkled and you're just rolling real smoothly. You ain't been through enough on that track. Your wheel ain't even had a, a, a dent in it. So it just is what it is. So I'm going to tell you, you know, I want to thank the, the, the flattering uh, comments. I want to thank the approaches and all that. 
but I am one to want my own. And I know I'm speaking for a lot of women out here because we do want our own. Who wants to share? Fellas, you guys don't want to share, and we sure don't want to share you. Whether you're grown, 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 or grown, 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 nobody wants to share. And if they do go there, they usually have an ulterior motive, like trying to get over in some kind of way to benefit them. So you're just something that they're using in the process. Think about that. And I'll be back at you. Lady D, a.k.a. Donna Smith, Grown Folk Talk in the House. See you soon.